Millions of people have participated in direct-to-consumer, abbreviated DTC, genetic testing in recent years seeking information that has personal value or utility to them. Sharing this information with family and friends for entertainment is often part of the experience, but so too is learning important information about how genetics may impact their health. Given the growing popularity of DTC genetics, healthcare providers are likely to encounter questions about it from patients. Personal genetic testing enables individuals to learn about how their genetics can influence their own health and non-health information, like genetic ancestry. In consumer-driven services, such as DTC, the individual sends a saliva sample or buccal swab for analysis using a test kit from a company. Results are then delivered through a secure, personal online account. Some consumer-driven services are physician-mediated, meaning the consumer initiates the testing, but the orders are written by a physician, usually one who has a relationship with the company. DTC differs by allowing the consumer to order testing with no required involvement of a physician or other healthcare provider. Consumers often do, however, share their genetic results with a provider. Consumers can choose from a broad range of services offered through DTC, including learning about personal genetic health risks, like their risk for developing certain forms of heart disease or breast cancer, learning if they're a carrier of an inherited genetic disease like sickle cell anemia or cystic fibrosis, finding out how their genetics can impact how they process certain drugs, discovering how genetics plays a role in things like sleep and diet, and obtaining information about other physical traits. DTC can be particularly helpful for those who are adopted, donor-conceived, or others who don't have family health information. These individuals can search for biological relatives, learn more about their genetic ancestry or ethnicity, and gain genetic health information. Some companies allow consumers to download their uninterpreted genetic data files. Although discouraged, some consumers use third-party interpretive services to further explore their genetic information. DTC also provides an opportunity for consumers to consent to participate in research. If they choose this option, genetic data is de-identified and aggregated, providing a unique platform for large-scale population studies. Compared to DTC tests, clinical genetic tests are done for medical reasons, such as when a patient is suspected of having or is at risk of inheriting a genetic condition or to inform reproductive decisions. The type of test depends on the patient's history. For example, a breast panel genetic test might be ordered if a patient has a family history of early-onset breast cancer. Compared to clinical genetic testing, population genetic screening is broadly offered to healthy populations not known to be at risk. This is to identify people who have or are at risk for a medical condition in themselves or that they could pass on to future offspring. Once those at risk are identified, they can be referred to primary care or a specialist for additional testing and counseling. Population screening is focused on common or rare but serious conditions that are well understood and for which there is prevention or effective treatments. Costs are kept low, so more people can benefit from the screening tests. Similar to population screening tests, DTC health tests are often most informative for healthy people not otherwise known to be at risk. When genetic health risks are discovered, consumers are encouraged to talk to a healthcare provider about follow-up evaluation and care. Most laboratories that run genetic tests are regulated by the Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments. Genetic tests are regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. When it comes to DTC tests, the FDA enforces pre-market review and labeling requirements for genetic health risk, carrier screening, cancer predisposition, and pharmacogenetics tests. For these DTC tests, the FDA looks at analytical and clinical validity, as well as consumer understanding of the test's educational information and results. Analytical validity refers to test accuracy and knowing if a specific genetic variant is present or not. Clinical validity is about knowing what having or not having that genetic variant means for an individual's health. 23andMe was the first DTC company to receive FDA authorization for tests in each of the four health categories. Regulatory oversight of all types of genetic tests is evolving in real time as testing expands and has more relevance to health. 
To summarize, millions of consumers are curious about genetics and have taken DTC tests. Many are looking for genetic health information so they can make better lifestyle choices or perhaps benefit from more personalized medical care. DTC can be particularly helpful for patients not known to be at risk based on personal or family history and for patients who don't know their family health history.